So I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about tormenting thoughts. So I feel like a lot of people right now are dealing with the battle in the mind. You're dealing with a lot of tormenting thoughts, things that, that come into your mind and you don't understand why they're there, but they attack your character. They attack your life. They attack um, who God has created you to be. And all of that is to make it to where you become dismantled and you're not able to walk out your call. You're not able to walk out your life to the fullest and answer the call and do the things that God wants you to do. Do the things that you were literally created and put here to do. It's to serve him, it's to worship him, it is to disciple his people. Um, once you become saved, um, you become a disciple for Jesus. And so it's our job to preach the gospel. It's our job to encourage other believers um, whose faith has been hit really hard or just encourage them in their walk. Like that is what we are all supposed to do. It's not just me, um, it's everybody. And so that's something that I feel like the Lord really revealed to me um, lately was, you know, I think whenever, so a big thing, if you do not do this, you will get so beat down. And in the time that we live in and the world that we live in, it's really hard to not become entangled in the affairs of this life. But it says in the Bible to not do that. And so when you learn to untangle yourself from the affairs of life, that's when you actually are able to start walking with Christ period. I mean, it's, it's so vital because once you get on social media and you start letting things in, you start allowing things to come into your mind that aren't supposed to be there. And it can create things of where you compare yourself or where you want what other people have, or all of a sudden what you have doesn't seem as meaningful. Um, just a lot of really really spiritually and mentally damaging things. And that is what it's geared to do. There's nothing wrong with you. It is made to do that. And so, you know, several, several years ago, uh, when I first started walking with the Lord again, he called me to shut down my Facebook and my Instagram and I did, and I never reopened them. Um, we did briefly have one for this channel and we just deleted it because we don't do anything on it. And, um, it's just not, it's not where we're at right now. And it was one of the best things that I did. And I actually just thought about that last night. Like, what would that look like if I were still, you know, having the connections that I had, if I were still living that life where, you know, I was wanting to create that perfect, you know, Facebook picture and that perfect Instagram picture and, and do all of those things. What would that look like for me? And I remember when he told me to shut those down, it was because I was reading my Bible and I was praying and I was fasting and I was doing all these things he was telling me to do. I was very new in everything. And I would open my Facebook and here's all of my old friends Here's their life, but also there were ads that popped up that were talking about very gross things. And I realized in that moment, I had absolutely no control over what I was about to see. And what I was seeing was damaging to me. I thought, I can't see this. You know, it was like, it was something really gross. And even now, um, you know, I just, we all have to be really careful about that. But you know, you have to just really be careful, one, what you're letting in. And if something doesn't feel right in your spirit, don't feel compelled to keep doing it. If you feel good about it and it doesn't bother you and it, you don't feel conviction, that's absolutely fine. Do, I, the, the, the walk God's called me to is not for everyone. Um, everybody's is going to be different depending on your call, depending on a lot of different things that we probably won't know until we're with him, but everybody's walk looks different. So I'm not saying go shut down your Facebook. I'm not saying that at all, but I'm just using that as an example of not be, you know, of guarding your mind and guarding your heart above all else because the issues of life flow from it. So my point is that something that he revealed to me lately, um, 
because even when you protect your mind to the level that I try to protect mine, you always have outside influences that come in and the enemy will always try to use those outside influences to try to hurt you, to try to get to you, to try to get you to stop, to try to get you to go a different direction, or just to try to cause some kind of emotional pain. And when you're like me and you've spent years just trying to heal, and trying to move forward in your life and try to rebuild, um, that can be really detrimental. And so I feel like I know something that he showed me that he wants me to share with you guys is that um, every day when you wake up, it is so important to replace any thought that you have about yourself with his thoughts about you. And so something that is absolutely life-changing and so important, and I know that that's what he's wanting for us right now, is that when you wake up and you have a moment, when those starts, then when your your daily thoughts just start, um, you know, speak to yourself and tell yourself, who am I in Christ? And then start saying those things and tell yourself, I'm called, I'm chosen, I'm appointed, I'm here for a time such as this, I'm, I'm a royal priesthood. I'm a child of God. You know, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And just the list goes on. And you can go through the Bible and you can write out a list if that's something that you're really struggling with and just read it out loud every day. But instead of letting the world influence how you feel about you, or even letting you influence how you feel about you, let God determine who you are every day. And he thinks nothing but the highest and the best of you. And when you put that in your mind and you walk that out daily, it is going to empower you. It's going to empower you to do everything that you're called to do. It's going to empower you to think like God. You know, I mean, obviously we don't know his thoughts and we don't know his ways because they're much higher than ours, but we can absolutely, I mean, we were made in his image. We can take on that identity. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to lay down everything and, and every day, pick up our cross, pick up that identity and walk in it. And so it's crucial. It's so important. And I think this is really going to bless you, but every day don't whatever you read the day before, whatever somebody said to you the day before, whatever you thought about yourself the day before, cancel that in the name of Yeshua and then take on the identity that God's given you and then walk that out because you're not just a normal person. You are supernatural. You are a supernatural being. So don't trade the supernatural for the natural. It's not worth it. It's dead and there's nothing in it. And so it's so important to just really put on the full armor of God, put on the identity of Christ, pick up your cross and carry it daily. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's just something that God's been putting on my heart. We are, we are meant for so much more. The world wants to almost dumb you down and put you into this box of, of just being, everybody being the same. You have to look this way, you have to act this way, you have to want this, you have to want that. And also every day, count your blessings. Obviously, I hope everybody prays, you know, and you say, thank you, Lord. Okay, and it's almost generic sometimes, but literally going in that place and saying, Lord, thank you for this, thank you for that. And like really naming those things and just really letting that penetrate your heart and your mind and just replacing any sort of complaint or spirit of just, you know, being displeased with whatever it is. Replace that with thanksgiving and with joy. You know, it's a trading floor. You trade those things out. You know, it's it's the, the morning for joy. Um, it's, you know, it, it's the sorrow for gladness and and just praising him and and taking on the identity that he gave you um, because that is going to be essential for you doing the things that he's called you to do to living the kingdom lifestyle and then the kingdom things coming after that and so anyway i'm not going to keep you guys long i pray this blesses you and i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you soon bye